Hello again, everyone. My name is Sophie, in case you don't know from previous videos. Um, today, we're going to go over um, various body parts you have and how to say them in Spanish. And we're going to go through that a couple times just so you kind of get used to those words. And then we're going to try to do it on my dog Franklin. So I'll test you a little bit with using Franklin. And then finally, I'll teach you guys a fun little song to help remember those words. So let's start going through those body parts from our head down to our toes. So starting with our head, the word, the Spanish word for head is la cabeza. So I spelled that out right here on this card, if that helps you at all. And then next, we're going to do eyes. So los ojos is the Spanish word for eyes. And then for nose, it's la nariz. And then for neck, it's el cuello. And then for throat, so slightly different from neck, we're talking about inside your throat. So you'd use this word if you're talking about having a sore throat. That's la garganta. And then your tongue is la lengua and then mouth would be la boca your teeth would be el diente so kind of like dentist can help you remember that one and then your ears is el huido and hair is el peyo. So later someone might be able to help teach us some um, colors in Spanish and then you can put a color with the word for hair. So you can say I have green hair or I have brown hair or whatever color your hair is. All right now moving out of your head and neck area we're gonna go to shoulder. That's el hombro. So that's words kind of similar to the word man in Spanish. The word man in Spanish has an E at the end, so it's el hombre. And then arm is el brazo. Your hand is la mano. Your fingers, and it's also the same as the word for toes, is el dedo. All right, now moving down to your knees. Your knee is la rodilla. So you can think about your knee rotates a lot, right? You're doing a lot of walking with it and it's moving back and forth. So that's la rodilla. And then leg in general is la pierna. And then foot is el pie. And then lastly, going back up to your back, that's la espalda. And then your chest is el pecho. So you can think maybe you wear a poncho and that covers your chest. So el pecho is the Spanish word for chest. Okay, so now a couple words that aren't quite body parts you can see from the outside. Your heart. So how do you say heart in Spanish? You say heart as el corazón. Oh, sticking together a little bit. And then skin is la piel. And last, your stomach. I like this word. Is el estomago. So very similar to the English but just a little bit different. Okay, so you wanna go through those again and then we can test it out on Franklin. All right, let's start from the beginning again. So your head is la cabeza, then we go eyes, los ojos, then we go nose, la nariz, and then we go neck, el cuello, throat, la garganta,
tongue. You stick your tongue out for me. La lengua. Also, when you say la lengua, your tongue actually moves quite a bit, which is a fun word. And then mouth, la boca, teeth, el diente, remember dentist, ears, el huido, hair, el peo, Shoulder, el hombro, and arm, el brazo, hand, la mano, and if you wanted to make that plural, so say hands, that would be las manos, or yes. And then fingers, and remember that's the same for toes, fingers or toes. That's el dedo. So you might be able to think of dedo as digits. So some people refer to fingers as digits. And then going down to your knee, la rodilla. And leg, la pierna foot, el pie, you can think you, maybe you stand on pies, and back, la espalda, and then chest, el pecho, and then those couple other ones, heart, remember was el corazón, Ooh, happens again, skin, was la piel and your stomach was el estomago all right so maybe watch that a couple more times if you're having trouble pronouncing some of those but i'm gonna go grab franklin and we can try to name some of those body parts in him and i'll tell you a couple other terms for special body parts that dogs only have all right so we have franklin here so let's see if we can name some of those body parts in spanish on him so right here we have Franklin's head. Now what, do you remember the word for head in Spanish? That's right. It was la cabeza. So then what were these? What are these little things? Those are Franklin's ears. So what was the word for ears in Spanish? That's right, it was el oído. All right, and then what do we have under Franklin's hair? What are those? Those are his eyes. So how do we say eyes in Spanish? That's right, is los ojos. And then what else is on his face we can name? How about this? What is that? That's his nose. That's la nariz. And then in his little mouth here, he's showing us his teeth. Do you remember how we said teeth? El diente, like the dentist, that's right. And then he keeps licking his nose. What's he licking his nose with? His tongue. And how do we say that in Spanish? La lengua. All right, did we miss anything on his face? We got his ears, eyes, so oído, ojos, nariz, nose. <laughs> He's getting a little impatient. But we're gonna do his neck. So his neck. Right here, el cuello. And then throat was la garganta. And then his back, right here, la espalda. But then if we go to his little feet, these aren't normal feet, are they? <laughs> They're paws. So how would we say paw in Spanish? You say paw as la pata. And that's spelled like this. La pata. And then what else does Franklin have that we don't have? He has a tail, doesn't he? You see that in the background? So how would you say tail in Spanish? It's actually kind of a weird one. It's la cola. So there's no double L. 
if you see here there's no double L so you don't do the Y sound so it's just cola all right and that's about it for Franklin so now that we had some fun with Franklin again I'm gonna go through a couple phrases you can say in Spanish using some of those words that we learned today and then we'll go through those words all again to try to help you remember them a little bit better and then we'll do the song at the end so the first phrase I'm gonna show you is abre los ojos so do you remember what ojos was that's right ojos was your eyes so can you take any guesses as to what this phrase might mean? It means open your eyes. So abre los ojos. So say you're falling asleep in class. Maybe your teacher says, abre los ojos, open your eyes. All right, the next one, cierre la boca. So what was la boca again? La boca was your mouth. So any guesses as to what Sierra la boca might mean? Something to do with your mouth. So it means shut your mouth. So maybe you're chewing with your mouth wide open and it's really annoying someone. They'll tell you to Sierra la boca, shut your mouth. Or if you're talking back too much to your mom, she might ask you to shut your mouth. All right, and then another phrase, me gustan tus ojos. So it's your eyes again, right? Ojos means eyes. So what might the, this phrase mean? Me gustan tus ojos. So it means I like your eyes. So it's a compliment for someone. Me gustan always means I like in Spanish. And then you can add something on the end of it. Well, me gustan is I like your. So me gusta is I like, okay? All right, and then a little fun, two little fun facts I saw when I was looking at these things. So remember garganta for throat? Well, the English word gargantuan actually comes from a fictional character who used his throat by eating a lot. And that's how we came up with gargantuan in English. It came from the word garganta from Spanish which is kind of cool. All right, and then two other words that you can use, I guess, with your dog, but also with anyone else. I have sientente and levantate. So sientate means sit down, and then levantate means stand up. Okay? So hopefully those will help you out if you ever want to use those. And then, to get ready for the song I'm going to teach you, there's a couple phrases that they use in the song to help remember those body parts. And I'm going to teach you those phrases right now, and then we'll go through all the body parts, and then we'll sing the song together, okay? So those two phrases are, Yamle al doctor, and that means to call the doctor, okay? And then two other phrases they use is they use a verb, dolar. And that verb means to hurt. So when you change the tense of that verb, you can say things like te duele la cabeza. And that means does your neck, do, oh, sorry, cabeza is head, right? So does your head hurt? And then you might answer me duele la cabeza, which means my head hurts, okay? And you can switch out whoop, the cabeza right here with any of the other words we learned for body parts. So you might say, ask someone, te duele la espalda, does your back hurt? And they might answer, me duele la espalda, yes, my back hurts. But they'll start that with C if they're saying yes. All right, so let's go through those body parts again, but I'm not gonna show the cards this time. I'm just gonna point and you're gonna try to say the body part we learned earlier and then I'll say the word for you, okay? So let's start right here. I'm not pointing to my hair, I'm pointing to my head. So that's la cabeza, yep. If I were to do my hair, el peo, that's right. And then ears, or just one ear, el huido. Eyes, los ojos, nose, la nariz, mouth, la boca, 
tongue, la lengua, teeth, el diente, shoulder, el hombro, arm, el brazo, hands, which is one hand, la mano, a finger or toe, el dedo, back, la espalda, um, let's do heart, el corazón, stomach, el estomago, what was your skin, el piel, and the knee, la rodilla, um, leg, la pierna, foot, remember it's like you're standing in pie, el pie, and I think that was all of them that I taught you today. So now let's go into the song. So before I sing very poorly in my apartment alone, I'm going to teach you one last phrase that we're going to use in the song, and that's I. I means ouch. So we're going to be singing about my head hurts, my neck, throat hurts, my back hurts, and then we're going to say I at the end because ouch, it hurts. Okay? All right. So here I go. I apologize if this sounds bad, but you can always turn the volume down and sing along with me, okay? All right. Let's go. La cabeza me duele la cabeza, la cabeza, llámale al doctor. Te duele la cabeza, me duele la cabeza, 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 doctor, doctor. Ay, la cabeza me duele la cabeza, la cabeza, llámale al doctor. Te duele la espalda, me duele la espalda, 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 cabeza, cabeza, doctor, doctor, ay. La espalda, me duele la espalda, la espalda, llámale al doctor. Te duele la garganta, me duele la garganta, 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 espalda, espalda. Cabeza, cabeza, doctor, doctor, ay. La, what, what do we do? La garganta, me duele la garganta. La garganta, llámale al doctor. Okay, so which three body parts were we talking about throughout that song? That's right, we started with our head, then went to our back, espalda, so cabeza, head, then la espalda, back. And then we finished with La Garganta, our throat. Okay, so I hope you liked that song. Please feel free to sing it and add in some of your own body parts that maybe you want to add in to make it fun and make it your own. And the more you practice it, the more you remember those terms and remember these body parts we learned today, and you can use them in your daily life to tell your mom or whoever that my back hurts, mom, or so how would you say that? Me duele la espalda. Would you maybe say, my teeth hurt? Maybe you have a cavity. So how would you say that? Me duele el diente. Yeah. So feel free to mix it up. Go through these again. Remember them and try to use them in your day to day and teach your family and everything too, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of Franklin. Um, thank you so much for listening and go through this again and again to remember these words, okay? Adios or goodbye.